So here we are again, we are holding a wizard sticks competition for you guys on the National Flare channel, the National Flare Army, whatever you guys want to call each other, the flares. Yeah. But anyway, we're holding the competition of the wizard sticks, whoever has the longest wizard stick wins. Kenny, why don't you pass them your wizard stick right there so they can see an example of a wizard stick. This is a fail wizard stick apparently because he was going for Washington and it's this big. And mine is obviously gone because I was going for Pittsburgh. So yeah, whoever has the longest winter stick wins the contest. We are going to give out a prize to the person. You have to post a video response with you and your wizard stick. Or it could be a picture video. And when the playoffs are over, I will ow. I won't ow. I will put the uh, our email in the description so you can send us the picture, I guess, if you want, instead of putting it on YouTube. And whoever sends up the picture to us first wins the contest obviously you have to have the, the games written on it and when they won and uh, who they faced and you have to a little, maybe put a little close up so we can see what you guys have on it so that there's no cheating involved and uh, yeah here's a video of how to do it oh I thought it was gonna break <laughs> it didn't even break <laughs> why did you think that would break I thought it was gonna like at least come in stupid duct tape here's the video it all started by saving one beer each playoff game to drink as the celebration beer after each Canucks win. The taste of the celebration beer was one of the best tasting beers ever. As the games went on, the Canucks playoff wizard stick grew. By the third celebration beer, our new tradition had taken over and the Canucks were now unstoppable. Just as we found ourselves Unstoppable, we lost game four. The old speckled hen beer had to pay. And pay it did. The Guinness beer came in for game five, but its fate didn't do much better. The Guinness beer somehow vanished. Game six. Everything was tried by Wizard Stick members but yet again, we somehow lost to the evil. We sacrificed a lucky beer. It had to be destroyed. Finally, Game 7. Nux versus Hawks. Wizard Stick versus Evil. Well, the Wizard Stick beat the evil. It was time to add another beer to the Wizard Stick! About this time, Charlie Sheen found out about our new tradition and he jumped right on board like he never missed a beat. The wizard stick took on Nashville and it continued to grow. and only a few beers were sacrificed along the way. Finally, Nashville was finished. The Canucks wizard stick prevailed. And the wizard stick grew yet again. Next up was the San Jose Sharks, Whale vs. Shark, Wizard Stick vs. Evil. Well, the Canucks won Game 1, and the Wizard Stick grew.